hope. Good morning, children, wished the English teacher, starting the new academic year. The students all stood, wished her back, and sat in their places. So, everybody ready to have a fresh start? The students nodded. Okay, let's introduce each other. My name is Miss Rose Lawrence and I would be your English teacher for this year. I love reading books and listening to stories. Now each one of you introduce yourself in the same manner, mentioning your hobbies, said the teacher. Each student took their turn and introduced themselves. Ma'am, my name is Ali Ahmed. My hobbies include playing cricket, watching cricket, and reading magazine sections that have cricket updates. The kids started giggling. Oh, that's a lot of cricket, said the teacher. And would you happen to have interest in any other creative skills, if I may ask? Not as of now, ma'am, answered Ali truthfully. Miss Rose, however, appreciated his honesty. Ali returned home after class and sat at the kitchen table having his snack. As he was eating, he noticed how skillfully his mother was managing the cooking on one side, washing the dishes and feeding his sister all at the same time. She did those chores with the ease of an expert batsman checking gaps in the field, striking and running. Whatever he thinks, it finally ends up in cricket. When Ali spotted a break his mother took in between her chores, he asked, Mother, what are your hobbies? Ali's mother looked at him, blinking. Hobbies? she asked. Yes, Hobbies, replied Ali, something you like to do and enjoy doing. Oh, Ali, I I don't know. Nobody has ever asked me so for a very long time, answered his mother. Well, there must be something you enjoy doing, right? Continued Ali. You do a hundred things a day. Yes, I do a couple of things every day, but... I don't think all under the category of hobbies, said his mother. Oh, is it? said Ali. What about when you were about my age? Did you like playing cricket then? he asked. His mother gave a laugh and stroked his head. Oh, Ali, you are such a crazy cricket boy, dear, she said and continued. I used to read a lot of books when I was young. Loved reading, writing short stories, poems, whatever comes to my mind back then. But that's very long back. For now, I'm quite preoccupied and haven't given them a thought. Why do you ask, Ali? Well, today the new English teacher asked each one of us, our hobbies, so I just wondered what yours would be. Ali had his snack and went out to play cricket with his friends. The school's annual day came around. They had a lot of events planned, with competitions being held in arts, language and sports. It was brought to an end with a lemon and spoon race for the parents who accompanied their children for the day. The ground was all set for the race. Ali was very excited to see how his mother would perform. All the kids wanted to watch their mother's race, each one speaking highly of how fast their mother would run. It started drizzling. And a few moments later, the rains poured in. The kids were all disappointed. They really looked forward to watching the race. The school announced everybody to be seated in the auditorium. Mrs. Rose appeared on the stage and said, Sorry students, 
the lemon and spoon race will not be conducted today. The room was filled with loud groans. But we shall conduct another competition for the parents. The groans were replaced with cheers. Miss Rose continued, We shall give a topic and ask the parents to write a few words about it. The results shall be announced during the open house the coming week. It was the parents' turn to groan this time. The only thing I ever wrote in the past couple of years are a bunch of grocery lists, said one. I hope they asked to write down a recipe or something like that, as that wouldn't have much of sentence construction or grammatical complications, said another. The papers and stationery were distributed among the parents. Some had looks on their faces like they were handed the controls of the International Space Station. Miss Rose said, The topic for the parents is... She paused, enjoying the look on their faces like they were sitting for a test and their life depended on it. And she repeated, The topic for today is hope. The parents looked at each other. Well, that's an easy one, I guess, said one. I just have a single line on that. I hope it hadn't rained today, said another. Ali saw his mother seriously engrossed in a task, never looking up for a moment. She went on writing. She looked like she was enjoying every moment of it. Mother, we are asked to arrive a little earlier for the open house, said Ali after a few days when he returned from school. His mother turned and gave a questioning look. Why, Ali, have you done something naughty? Not that I remember, said Ali casually. I, however, advised our sports instructor to brush his skills on cricket. He's neither a good batsman nor a bowler. How can he be a sports instructor? Ali's mother rolled her eyes and said, Ali, dear, cricket isn't everything. There are other sports equally important. Ali just shrugged and went to play. Ali and his mother arrived school early as requested. They met Miss Rose and she directed them to the principal's office. While Ali's mother was nervous, her knees knocking against each other, Ali was calm, hopping and whistling around her like he was accompanying her to watch one of the cricket matches in town. She tugged Ali and whispered to behave. They entered the principal's room. It had a showcase adorned with trophies and shields the school had won on one corner, shelves neatly stacked on the other end with several box files. The principal, a lady in her late fifties, Looking elegant yet stern, with an air of dominance around her, sat behind the large table. Please take a seat, she said. She had a very comforting voice, thought Ali's mother. She felt a little better. The tension eased. How are you, Ali? she asked him. There was so much tender and love in her voice. Fine, ma'am. He replied instantly. So how do you plan to spend your vacations, Ali? She asked. Ali was waiting to be asked for the very question and blurted out his list. I am going to play cricket with my friends, watch cricket matches on TV. We are going to form a cricket team. We even have named it. We call ourselves the unbeatable and he continued so on ali's mother slightly moved her feet under the table and tapped it on ali's signaling him to give it a break and he followed suit you are indeed a one big cricket fan i must say said the principal smiling 
What followed next was too quick for Ali's mother to comprehend. Madam, hearty congratulations. You have won the competition that was held on the annual day. Your work was very commendable and we would request you to read it out loud for the school and the parents assembled today. Ali's mother sat there stunned, wide-eyed, blinking, trying to take in what she just heard. When she finally found her voice, she said, Ma'am, there must have been a slight mistake. I'm not sure you got the right person. The principal gave a smile and took out a sheet of paper that lay next to her with the blank side facing them. She looked at the bottom right corner of it and read, Would Mrs. Zubeda Ahmed be you, ma'am? Ali's mother nodded slightly. Well then, I am right, aren't I? asked the principal. But ma'am, it was just something I scribbled at that moment, just what came to my mind. It's in no way near perfection that would be required to be put forward in front of such an audience, said Zubeda, her voice still shaking. My dear, not everything has to be perfect to be beautiful, said the principal. Those were golden words for Zubeda. She felt immensely motivated as never before. I shall do it, ma'am, she replied. Respected principal, teachers, parents and students, I have been requested to present before you a short piece of work I scribbled a few days before in this very same place. I would like to express my humble gratitude towards the school authorities for having given me this opportunity and would request the audience to pardon the level of literacy of my work which I doubt would be fit to perform this endeavor. Zubeda looked at the principal and she returned her a nod. Hope. Hope lies in the mother with a child in her womb. Hope lies in every man from his birth to tomb. Hope brings meaning to life, the purpose to move on. Hope drives the living, both weak and strong. Hope defines both man and woman. A life without hope is more dead then done. A loud applause followed. Zubeda stood bolted to the ground, her eyes filled with tears of joy. This is something she never dreamt of. As she got down the platform, Ali raced to her and gave her a huge tight hug. Mother, I am so proud of you. You did really good. Thank you so much, dear, said Zubeda. Mother, can I ask you something? asked Ali, looking up at her. Could you write me a poem on cricket? She laughed and said, sure, my cricket boy. As they were leaving, a parent came towards her and said, now I know why it rained the other day.